What's up everyone? This is Bill. Uh, today I got a video for you guys. Um, today we are looking at the C3 software and today's video is just going to be about tune security and being able to secure your tune and lock it to a specific PV3. Put a password on it so nobody can get into it. Um, I want to talk about this because I have seen questions about it. People have messaged me about it, asked me about it. Um, there is also, sometimes there can be issues come up where say a business is selling a PV3 with their turbo kit and their specific tune is on that PV3. And then when the customer gets it, the customer says, makes a big announcement on social media saying, Hey, I have these guys tune. If you want it, I'll give it to you for free. Right. Well, that is taking from that business that paid a tuner to build those tunes. And um, so we would hope that if we did everything correctly with the C3 software, you don't have to worry about that kind of issue happening. Right. So I want just today's video is just to educate, I guess you would say. So the first thing we'll take a look at is uh, we will open our custom tune, right? This one that says video sample. Um, you'll notice it ends with DJT. Uh, a custom tune or a tune that you have made or whatever is always, anything other than stock is always gonna end with DJT, right? Because DJT, that is the file format. Then you can see the stock file ends with STK. That is our stock file to revert the vehicle back to being completely stock. Now this is for a Can-Am Riker 900, and uh, that's what this modified file is for. So if you take the stock file and then you start building on top of it and you click Save As over here in C3, you're gonna save it as a DJT. Okay, so we will go in here and open this. You'll see it'll open right up. It'll open up to the last thing that we looked at in here. Okay, it opened right up. There was no tune security. Okay, which means now I can go in and mess with this. I can do whatever I want, right? And I can go in here and change whatever. So to get into that, so say we want to save our tune. Once we're done building our tune, what we are going to go to is where it says tune info. Okay, tune info. So you can see there, huge exhaust, massive intake. Again, this is all just a sample that I typed up. Okay, rev limit is now at 12,000 RPM. That'll never happen on your Can-Am Riker, so don't attempt that. I just put some notes in here. Okay, so now we can go here to Tune Security. Right, and in Tune Security, you can read all this right here. It says securing a tune. To prevent another user from viewing or editing your tune, you can set a password to encrypt the file with. Note. Passwords cannot be recovered, and there is no way to unlock a tune once it has been saved. Take extra care and remember the password you set. Leave it blank. Leave blank to leave the tune open, which means there's no password. So like the one we just now opened, you can see here, it says no password. Okay, lock to a device. Well, a password will prevent a tune from being viewed or edited by another user. This means when we set a password, you wouldn't be able to open it in the C3 software and look at any of this. Okay. So if you set a target device guide, this will ensure that the tune can only be flashed to a specific device. So this will be the PV3 itself. Okay. And then we can go into advanced and you can read your... Um, tune compatibility number and all that. And that just says that tune is compatible with this number equals a specific vehicle and a specific uh, stock file. Okay, so tune security. So now let's try this. Let's go in here and change the password. So we'll just put sample, S-A-M-P-L-E, sample, S-A-M-P-L-E, sample. Okay, there we go, password set. Okay, now here is where we'd enter the target device guide, but we'll just take one thing at a time here. 
So now we have a password set. Now we can hit done, right? And now if we go to save as, and here's our video sample, we'll just overwrite it. So double click to override. And this is another step that you can do if you're making small adjustments in a tune. You can save it as a new name or you can just double click. It'll come up with this. Do you want to override it and replace it? Yes. And then it'll come back to your notes and you can change any of the notes before you finish saving. This will be a part of your saved file. Okay, so we'll hit OK. All right. Now, if we exit off of this, now that we have saved our tune with a password on it, let's go back and open it. So there it is. We overrided that, and that should have a password. You can see there, now it has a password. We can't just get right into it like we could before. So now our tune is protected. I can't go in here and mess with the C3 software. I can't adjust the tune. I can't do anything to it. I can't even view it in here. I can view the notes in the PV3 itself when I'm looking at the tune by scrolling up and down with the up and down arrows on the PV3, but I cannot look at it in C3 or mess with anything. Okay, so we'll type in our code, our password, which was sample, say M-P-L-E, hit enter. And there you go, it opens back up to exactly what we were looking at before, or well, the last thing that was opened. Okay, so now you can go in here and go to Tune Info. So now we have a security password on the actual tune. Okay, now if we want to lock this tune to a specific PV3, so if I own a business and I'm selling my turbo kit with a PV3 with my custom tune on it, you know, that I paid a tuner to build, I can lock that tune to that PV3 that you purchased. Okay, and then we can, so what we'll do is we'll click on this target device guide. Okay, so we need the guide, which is the global unique identifier from the PV3 itself. Okay, so I'll show you what that is all about. Okay, we'll open this up. So this is what is called a PV info file. Okay, it's a P PV info.txt. So these first words are the actual name of it. I put video sample in there. Okay, so all these numbers are fake. Um, these are not real serial numbers or anything like that. The only thing that's real is this ECU tune compatibility file number. And that just is what is compatible with the stock file and what vehicle it will flash over to every ECU. You know, depending on year, make, model, whatnot. Um, some ECUs have the same compatibility number. Some don't. You know, on the Riker, there's a few different uh, actual compatibility numbers. So this means my 2019 Can-Am Riker tune might have a different compatibility number than yours. My tune might not flash over to your bike just by me plugging my PV3 into yours or giving you my tune file, right? I have to know what that compatibility number is before I can build a custom tune. So I need this file right here, which is your info file. Okay, so pvinfo.txt, it's a text document, it has all of the information. This document, these numbers down here, like this right here, all these numbers, these numbers show up once it is plugged in and married to the first vehicle that it gets plugged into. The numbers that are there on the PV3 itself. So if you were to plug your PV3 into your computer, into your Windows laptop or computer, uh, you can open it up just like a thumb drive and you will see a file on there called pvinfo.txt and it's going to have these numbers already up here. It's going to have the guide, the serial number, the firmware build, and the firmware version. Okay, those are going to be in there. The rest of this will be blank until it's plugged into a vehicle. Then it gets that information from a vehicle. And then that information exists on your info file. Okay, so this guide, this is the guide, the global unique identifier. So what we will do, and that's this is gonna be on the PV3. So if we're building a tune for this PV3, we have our tune made, 
Now we need to get this info file from the PV3 and we need to copy this. So we're gonna copy this right here. We're gonna left click and we're gonna go to copy. Okay, and we can minimize this. And now that we're gonna put that number right in here. Target device guide. We're gonna go paste. We're gonna go devices and use selected. You can see it verified that that is an actual uh, PV3 that exists. So we're gonna use selected, right? So now our tune is password protected and it is locked to that specific ECU. So like I said, if I'm a company that I'm sending out an ECU with my custom tune and it's gonna work with my turbo kit, it's locked to this PV3 that I sent you. You can't download it to your computer and give it to someone else for their PV3, right? So basically you can't steal the custom tune, right? So now we're gonna hit done. And now we're gonna go save as, and now we're gonna override, right? Do you want to override this? Yes, we do. And now we now have a protected tune file that is specific to the PV3, that is specific uh, password protected. Right, so now I can't get in here to the C3 software anymore to use it. I can't go flashing it over to my friend's vehicle with his PV3 because I gave it to him by just sending it to him and through an email. Right, so you really have to know what you're doing when it comes to making a custom tune for someone or anything like that. You have to have that tune info file. You, you can't, I can't just, I mean, if I, if I built a tune, I can't just have you message me and say, hey, can you email me a tune? I have to have your info file. I have to know that the tune's gonna work on your bike. I have to know that all the information from the bike, what, what bike, what vehicle am I tuning? I need to know this number right here, which is your uh, compatibility file number to make sure that the tune that I send you is even gonna work on your vehicle, right? And then of course, I'm gonna password protect it and I'm going to lock it to your specific PV3, right? That's what any tuner should do. That's what, that's what I, would, I would recommend, right? So anyway, I wanted to make this video because this information is not out there, right? So if you Google this, you don't find anything and you don't have any info to go by. And so these companies that make these tunes to go with their turbo kit and whatnot, you know, the, the tuner behind the, behind the scenes that you don't see, maybe they do know this information. But everyone should know this information, right? This should be public information, how to protect your tune file. So anyways, that's how you securely protect your tune. I hope this video helps you out. Huge shout out to my sponsors over at DinoJet for all the hard work that they do. And um, this video helps not only them out, this video helps everyone out, right? The more information you have, the more knowledge you get, the more knowledgeable people are, you know, the better off we'll be as a whole. Anyways, so that's my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching the subscribe button. You guys have a good day. Peace.